<laughs> just have a chat with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, we might as well, yeah. Go on. Uh, podcast there, is it? Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Dundalk's Keith Ward. All smiles here. You're back from injury. Uh, I suppose it's been a frustrating season because you've been injured, but talk to me about it. You're still here, all smiles as usual. Yeah, um, James, if you can't smile, you'll cry. Uh, no, look, it's been a, a bit of a disappointing season so far, hasn't it? I think the table doesn't lie at the moment. Uh, obviously, everyone knows what happened in the Cup down in Galway. So yeah, we've probably got we had a great result the other night. You know, I think we were disappointed, are disappointed not to come away with something in Richmond the other night. Um, but we, you know, comprehensive win the other night, five 0 and I think we've five games left, three at home, two away, and I I think Pearson be five games to save our season. You know, um, a lot of other teams ahead of us have to play each other and that, and there's going to be points dropped, and we've just got to do everything we can to try to get Europe and save our season, like I'm saying. I think it's it's one of those seasons where everyone's, and I know it's, it, it's easy to say everyone beating everyone, but literally everybody's beating everybody. Like you, you don't know one week to the next. Uh, it results, I mean, if you're a Batman, you'd lose <laughs> yeah. your bollocks. You yeah, you I mean? would, you're right. Um, and it's been like that the whole season, like you said. Um, you look at Rovers and UCD the other night, you see Drogba the beat, and you see uh, the other night us beating Cork. It's just every every night there seems to be something. And shells that, shells yeah, and uh, balls as well. We probably expected that. Uh, but no, every night, every week, you just don't know. So and it probably sums up the season, um, sums up our season to be honest as well. So uh, yeah, it's just it's just been a bit of a mad season to be honest. Yeah, talk to me though. I, I haven't really seen you um, since you've moved to Dundalk, but I know that like you were held in really high regard at Bowes. You've gone back to Dundalk, you obviously previously with, but you seem to have had a, a real lease of life last season. I felt and this season, I'm not sure how long you've been out for. But you made a real impact last season. It must be really annoying now to be coming back, obviously, after a really good season. And as I said, you've got a bit of a lease of light. Maybe it went, I don't know what happened with Bowes or something like that, but you just seem to be more kind of in form or just no, enjoying your football I, I, a bit better. I, I, yeah, no, I understand what you're saying, man, and it's a fair point. Uh, I had a great five years back at the club at Bowes, you know, and just that kind of last year, I felt oh, I went a bit stale, I went a bit stale for me. and. As much as I didn't want to leave Bowles, uh, I think I had to leave. Football you know? reason, Yeah, football yeah. reason. It came at the right time. And like to get back to my old club, Dundalk, get to work with Stevie, it did give me a new lease of life. I think my performances and my season showed that. You know, I thought last year I had a very good season for my own self. You know, I'd like to play and still play it a little bit more, but I thought my goals and my assists kind of ratio wasn't too bad yeah. for the minutes I played. <laughs> and then this year I came into this season, you know, raring to go after that season, like you said, a new lease of life. And, Probably didn't get in as much as the light at the start of the season. We kind of had a lot of new lads in, and you know they were kind of finding their way. But like I said, we we're getting up to the break, and then obviously I got I kind of got a little groin injury at the break, and uh, I wasn't even supposed to come on against Bowes. I, I just came on the bench, and the gapper said, "Look, if we need a goal the last minute, I might just throw you on with me groin." And then obviously Bowes went three two up, and he just threw me on with five minutes to go, and then obviously. Just a collision with James Talbot, accidental, and then find myself out for another three months. So it's disappointing, and it is what it is. But you know, I'm back fit now, and I feel I still feel fine. You know, and I, like I said, we have five games to save our season, and I have five games to you know try show me worth and just try save me season a bit as well. Yeah, well, I think at this stage you don't want the talking point to be the loss of to go away being the no. season talking point. You know what I mean? Because that's what it looks like it's going to be right now at this moment in time. No, that's a fair point. And look, that will haunt us for a long time that you know I've been around the league a lot I've had some dull nights especially <laughs> here behind me but uh, that was up there and I didn't even play and that was, that was as bad as night I've probably had and like you said you know I don't want people looking back in the season and saying you know finished mid-table knocked out a cup 4-0 at half time to a first division team as good as Galway are and they are a good side but you know if we can push Europe and push a late end of the season maybe you know, Galway gets pushed back a little bit and we can save our season a little bit. Yeah, just help me, because we are here for the for the EA Sports FC 24. So do, do you play FIFA? You strike me as someone who does play FIFA. Right, so I do, I did, I was a big FIFA player. I'm a bit player. like that now yeah, myself. Yeah, all so. through the years. And I'm, I, I've always said it, and I'm not spooked when I say it, I've been the best player at every club. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not just saying it. I don't think anyone has ever bettered me, but now, obviously, a bit of grey in the beard, I'm getting older, I don't play it as much anymore, so... Probably my FIFA, my PlayStation, be going to my nephew, I think. Yeah, I think it's just that, that age of kind of getting that settling down period <laughs> yeah. now, you know? <laughs> I don't know about settling down, but yeah, the old PS4 is collecting dust in the corner, unfortunately, so yeah. 
Yeah, I used I used to play a bit of co-ops and that with my mates and that a bit of crack online, but yeah, it doesn't doesn't get knocked on as much anymore. But I had a good run at it. I had yeah, a good well, run. sure, why not? Um, well, listen, thanks very much no, for your time. I want to wish you the best luck for the rest of the season. That. And uh, yeah, top Cheers, man. Yeah. Thanks for that, bro. Legend.